that thing of putting on, you know, the Doctor yeah. Strange outfit, is it like just putting on any costume, or is there a is there a thing? I'm I am a superhero. Uh, there is definitely a moment. I, I remember very clearly when I first put on the whole thing, including the cloak, as is often miscalled the cape, but it's a cloak and it's really heavy. <laughs> it's like a cloak. But when it first all went on with the hair and everything, and I sort of looked in the mirror, I just went, I I just started laughing like a twelve year old. And the costume designer Alex, who's seen it all, just sort of folded her arms and went, yeah. Seen that look before? You're uh, you're having a superhero moment. <laughs> uh, I think I am unabashedly <laughs> giggling at the fact I can play a superhero. But you wear the outfit like offset, which seems a little tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's contextualise that judgment. Shall we go? <laughs> I was filming in New York, and uh, New York obviously is the home of the character, so some of it had to take place there. And we were on uh, his street, more on Bleecker Street. And just around the corner was a cafe, and it was in New York, as I think in a lot of America, you, uh, the paps can just, the paparazzi can get in front of the camera. They go, hey, get out of my shot, to the DOP, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. who's moving the camera around. So it's, it's extraordinary. And they were everywhere this day. They were just, there were more of them than there were crew. So this is getting a little ludicrous. They can't follow me into a cafe, surely. And they went, no, they can't, but you're going to a cafe? I went, yeah, it's a French word for a coffee house. I'm going to go around the corner. <laughs> and, and I went into... Sorry, not all Americans are stupid. I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get a cheap laugh out of a heat-stroked crowd. So I'm, so I'm very sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, I wasn't was listening. So. You were, I was. <laughs> Touché. Touché. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, fair enough. Um, so I go to this cafe and I'm fully regaled up. I don't really know if I could finish the anecdote. Keep going, keep, keep going. Keep going, keep going, must keep going. And um, I walked in and it was very New York. That Everyone sort of turned around, what the? And the coffees were sort of half between mouths and tables and people stopped talking. And then I just sort of, uh, can, we, can we get a table? I had blood and cuts on me and a costume. Yeah. And, and the minute the waiter said, yeah, sure, everyone just went, Anyway, as I was saying, Joseph was going to go with this weekend. It was like, it was just a very New York. Thinking back Doctor Strange like, just so in our, wide, in our yeah. coffee shop. It's kind of funny being on set when everyone's having all this, like, contact fighting and I'm just flailing my arms, just hoping... <laughs> Can you do the... Do it, yeah, do it. I'm do doing your super it. <laughs> Are you controlling minds? I control, yeah, I can control minds, but also, like, when we fight, I would be like shooting energy balls out of my hands, but only in my imagination. And yeah, <laughs> otherwise it'd be absurd. Right. <laughs> that's, that would never happen. Yeah. But this one, did they show you what it was going to look like? No. So you're just going. There is a lot of trust involved. <laughs> but we've got a picture of you doing it without the special effects, and you're right, it is. It's yes. not. <laughs> even Jeremy Renner, Jeremy Renner looks oh really God. unimpressed. <laughs> <laughs> And I, would, I, must say, I wouldn't say this woman's <laughs> fleeing for her life. <laughs> I think she actually fell during one of the takes. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like, you know, when you take a photo and then there's a ghost of someone who wasn't there. <laughs> it's more like a nerd's wet dream. Because yeah. you've, <laughs> you've got Sherlock, Star Trek, and now Marvel. Fangasm. I know. Yeah. It's like that's that's your pension right there. You can just do conventions. You get properly lazy doing what I actually do, and just go and sign pictures of my face. But there's, there's a, a, there was a shot that I think you were on location in New York, and uh, oh, yeah. so this is without uh, oh, yeah. this is without the special effects. <laughs> so this is uh, Doctor Strange. Is that the what do you call energy rope? I'm about to take off. Oh, you're taking yeah, off? Yeah, oh, that's, that's... that's me about to fly. Oh, OK, you're about to fly. <laughs> anyway, for some reason, the way these things do, that image just captured people's imaginations. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So they've taken Benedict to Australia, put him in different places. So here's Benedict on a zip wire. <laughs> <laughs> He's also very sporty. There he is. <laughs> Yeah. He's oh, also man. cultured. Music is his life. Yeah. <laughs> and very good at the ice skating, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> we know you can sing because, of course, we heard you singing as Lola in Kinky Boots. Oh, that's true. Yes, there you are, singing in Kinky Boots. And now, uh, apparently, you ke kept the Kinky Boots. <laughs> I have them. I have them back now. They're not. I don't know if they're the actual original 
first edition kinky boots. But I have a pair of them uh, okay. now, which I lost for a, for a while. Now, but, I'm uh, interested in this story. Mm -hmm. How did you lose them? I took them off at a party. <laughs> and I lost them. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like a good party. <laughs> One, that was, you went in those boots, was, and yeah, two, you it, took them off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were uncomfortable. I took them off at a certain point, and, um, and then I was like, where are those boots? And I didn't see them for about a decade, until a friend of mine was um, moving stuff uh, out, of her, uh, out of her house and, um, and came across a box, and the boots were in them. So she called me up to say, I have the boots. She stole those boots. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not saying that, you're saying yeah. that. Yeah. She I stole mean, the boots and then yeah. ten years on went, why did I steal <laughs> those? <laughs> I'm never going to wear them. Oh, let him have them back. <laughs> and now you're delighted. I, I was, it was She's nice. a thief. Yeah. <laughs> and as luck would have it, Patrick Stewart has also done drag. <laughs> How beautiful Ooh, is Patrick wow. Stewart? <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> That is good. I mean, well, actually, close up is a little better from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Everyone's like, that's amazing. That's a. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. But now you have a drag name, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, Patty Lestew. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> but Elizabeth, you know, you, you grew up with the Olsen twins, which is like how, you I mean, they were... I did. Huge... I didn't refer to them as that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but... But I did. But you were younger, so they presumably were always famous. Yes, since they were six months old, they were working. And they still have not stopped working. Yeah. And they're 28. They literally don't even know what it feels like to not work for six months. Because you were the same. You worked when you were very young, didn't you? You were on I mean, sets and stuff. Yeah, not really. I like you didn't did. A, start I thought did... she was two. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy thing. <laughs> yeah. Who's She's paying for that? <laughs> Who's paying for those rusks? Come on. Well, I did a weird commercial when I was ten, and it was a really strange experience. So I kind of just moved on from that. It was like it was parental controls, and I was walking down uh, like a, a weird downtown LA street. And uh, they had fake homeless people and hookers like grabbing at me because they were trying to show what your kids could be diving into in the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Did I you think... write this? <laughs> <laughs> well, as it happened yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Detroit commercial specifically. <laughs> That's quite frightening for a child. Yeah, and then I was like, yeah, I, I miss ballet and stuff like that. But I'm surprised it didn't put you off acting for life. That experience? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like just only diving into weirder things as I got older. Yeah. Not in my personal life. No, obviously, <laughs> no. It is time for Benedict Cumberbatch to meet Benedict <laughs> Cumberwax. <laughs> 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 now, this is uh, Madame Tussauds, now, not, what are they called? A wax figure. They're not wax work, they're wax figures. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. And you haven't met it yet. No. Right? So, uh, come with me. Come on. Come over here. All right. Everyone come over and have a look. Have a look. Have a look. So, this is going to be spooky. So, come down here. Come yeah. down here. Okay. Yeah. You're all set? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here is Benedict Cumberbatch. Feast your eyes on you. Oh, that's so that, is that is weird. Really weird. Come on. Really weird. This is very, very weird. Uh, no, it looks so like you. Uh, it's spooky. <laughs> but but look at the back of the head and everything. He's, he's tired. He even looks yeah, as tired as I feel. Look at that. Look, see the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, Should I stand? Yeah. Should I stand? You, oh, that's brilliant. Here we go. Oh, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, oh, my God. Look at that. Yeah, nice, nice. That's very good. That's uncanny. OK, now, spot it, spot it, spot the way. If we all come in and have a picture taken with this, mm. right, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can photobomb us from behind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a run up. Ready? Okay. Uh, uh, camera over there somewhere. <laughs> Ready? Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> 